Mr. Aubrey Showcase is my way of giving back in a way that is most personal. I kept asking myself for years, how can I bring all of my experiences, Alvin Ailey and The Lion King and the travel and all the art and performance, put it all in one place. And for me right now, it's taking the kids to the experience of a highly professional environment of art. Building the show comes the life lessons of discipline and leadership, uh, teamwork, uh, etiquette, presentation, punctuality, all the things we need in life. So it's my way of taking all of my experiences and giving it back to the community. I'm grateful for Mr. Arbrey because he's a very energetic teacher and he's the best. She learned discipline, also uh, express herself in front of the people. Mr. Lynch is a great guy. He, in a year, I've learned so much from him. I've learned to how to work in a professional setting. I've learned how to pick up choreography fast, and I've learned also how to be able to transition and, and just cooperate with others. Mr. Arby is a very good teacher. He knows how to teach you about facility, about how to stand at a performance even when you're not dancing, if you're just standing still. Working with Mr. Aubrey prepared me for the Lion King audition and booking the job was because I know he trained me hard enough so I felt like I could do it. And I know we stayed here late some nights to practice the singing and dancing. So it kind of developed me into having the role. And I hope for him and for other kids that are coming up that music and theater and just expressing yourself will eliminate violence, will eliminate the need for guns, will be the peacemaker that we need. Because in reality, when you have music and when you have dance, it is the peace. That's the mother. There's too many of you that cry. Don't forget the words. <laughs> Try again. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Hey. I always say that art is not extracurricular. Art is extra essential. Without it, we are not complete human beings. I think you have to kind of be open to the dreams of children. They know a lot more than we think that they know. And if we trust them and trust our ability to guide them, um, they will lead us to places that we cannot imagine.